السلام عليكم زمع على فيديو زارة جراين واقع باز لا كونترين كونترينو يكمز قبل أولاتي بريطانيا ذاك الكلا صدستي ويليام هنري جوز كيا ولا صالي زار وشطو عفتا حاف أشطو أشطع حاف بوري كاتك سفر ذاك أبو أولاتي مغرب لبي وابا مسلمان بونو ودا قريته والناوي خوشي دقوري دكاتا عبد الله كوليام أهو مزقوتا صالي هزار وهشطة وهشطة ونوعي هشطة وحفتة هشطة شوية عبد الله كويلم كريا أو بناية كريا لبنى مالاتي دولة من بو هستا كريا وكلا مغرب هاتا مسلمان بوني خويلي راقيان هاتا أو بناية كريا وستياد باي أو الشاة كريا وبو آتي والله من الصالي هزار ونوصة وهشط لا حكمة بريطانيا ليان وارجتوا أو بناء كريانا شوني بيان ولادة وزواج واي صوت الشش صال لكادو هزار وتسعر دا لان مسلمانا نشاري ليفر بلو دارا في أشكاش كان صوت كده وكاو بناء بدناه رادس لمسلمانا يبكنه إستاش دو هزار وتسعر دا دستيام بعبادة كده ولا هو بناء لقر ما من دسينا جوري بزاني تون نوجل كرايته سيان كرديا خاطی خواری مزیت که کشمنی توالی تو دزنیجا که دو هزار و چهار دو ولی انگیتی تو و نورجانی انگیتی تو با استایل چیزوان شوینی دزنیجا کن مثلا شکلی سر دیزاینی اسپانیا کن دان از شما نکرد او بینایی که تنیشی شد تصویر کن بس ما بیدن اخطا بس زمان دی کنم هاوران استاد لگر سرپرشتی علی مزگوت کن مزگوت یا عبدالله کویلم بزنین باست چی کت مالو دکات در باری او مزگوت هلو مستر can you tell me something about this mosque Okay, uh, assalamu alaikum. My name is Mumin Khan. I'm the chief executive of Abdullah Kulliam Mosque and National Heritage Center. The Abdullah Kulliam Masjid was founded by an Englishman in the name of William Henry Kulliam. When he visited Morocco in 87, he converted to Islam and he took the name Abdullah, Abdullah Kulliam, as a Muslim name. He came back after 1887 and he started the um, movement in his own house. He started praying with some people in his house and then in 1889 on a Christmas day he bought this building and he built this masjid as you can see from here. So what you see here this room is a purpose built masjid which he opened on a Christmas day 25th of December 1889 135 years ago. Um, the masjid was running for about 20 years from 1889 up until 1908 
So in 1908, he went on a visit to Morocco and he didn't come back for some reason. And the family could not sustain the building because it was very expensive to maintain. And the building was sold to the council and the council bought the building and it was became a birth, marriage and death registry office for about 90 years. In 2002, we took possession of the building from the council and we made a lot of refurbishment work for the building and we opened this masjid again in June 2014 after 106 years of closure. So this is the first mosque in, the, in Great Britain and uh, it's the only mosque established by Englishmen 135 years ago. And can you tell me uh, who opened again 2014? Okay, so a group of trustees, elders from the community, led by Dr. Muhammad Akbar Ali, um, who led the team, uh, and they formed a society in 1997. And that's when they took the building in 2002, uh, they took the building from the council. Uh, I have been involved with this project since 2002, and it was as a teamwork, a group of trustees and volunteers who opened the masjid in 2014. Abdullah Kuliam, when he was running the masjid for 20 years, he had an orphanage for about 200 boys. He had a day school for 300 girls, and he would open the kitchen to the poor people to have some hot food every night. So it was a big operation that he was managing. And the, when he went to an extended visit in, in 1908 to Morocco and Turkey, he didn't come back. So his children, his family could not sustain the building. It was very expensive to maintain. And that's when the mosque went into decline. Okay. And why he didn't come back to UK? I think there were some personal reasons or political reasons. We don't know exactly why. But the, it's, it feared that he lived, uh, when he left, he didn't come back for about six, seven years. And he, for some family reasons or personal reasons, which we are not too sure about. Uh, it may be a political reason as well, because he did have a great connection with Abdul Hamid II, the last Muslim caliphate, the Ottoman Empire. And can you tell me when uh, was uh, he born and where he okay. died? Abdullah Kuliam was, um, Abdullah Kuliam's family come from the Isle of Man, but he was born and brought up in Liverpool. He went into a school called the, um, 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 he went into a, a, a very good school um, and, uh, and he educated himself, became a lawyer and he was a very good lawyer and he, um, at the age of 31, he decided to go on a holiday to a hot country, a uh, uh, place in France and from France he went into Morocco and when he went to Morocco he saw the culture, the religion, the Azan and that inspired him and he did a research and there and then he took Shahada way back in 1887. When Abdullah Kuliam opened the masjid and as a lawyer he would help a lot of poor families and one of those was when when the father would leave the mother with a number of children and they'll go away he will make sure that he gets a paternity order through the court system for the father to pay for the upkeep of the mother of the children so that's like he never charges for those things. He dealt with many, many divorce cases for poor people and he didn't charge. But if he was taking a good client, his fees would be three times higher than any other solicitor of his time. So he was a really uh, a very, very good lawyer. Abdullah Kuliam has written hundreds of books on Islam and Queen Victoria would say, make sure she gets four copies of the book for her uh, children. Um, so, and he also did publications. He did a weekly newsletter that everything happens on a daily basis. And he had a monthly newsletter and a quarterly newsletter every three months. And the one for every three months would go to 32 different countries across the globe. So people can see what happened. It used to be called The Crescent. Now, The Crescent, we have about 500 copies digitalized by the British Library and it's on our website. Abdullah dot org. Thank you so much. Thank you for You're information. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Our Nerahatina Kotai video come on. You are there in 
او کوتا ویدیو ات هم بدل بی تو و کو پال پشتیک بو امش بردوام بین لو ویدیو انا لایک و کامنت و سابسکرایب دبیر مکان اروانی بلوچ خاص ان شاء الله چیز ما با پال پشتی ایوه 